Hi there. Back in July of 2021, we released a video called Voice Typing Windows 11 is Awesome. This seemed to be a really popular video. So today, I thought I'd do an update on the awesome new features that have been introduced. So since the preview build 22518, which was released in December 2021, voice access feature can now do many more things. You can open, close applications, maximize, minimize, scroll, edit text, and basically you can control your desktop. So let's have, let's have a little look at this and give it a go. So to begin with, what you're gonna to need to do is open up your settings on your Windows 11 device, scroll down on the left and select accessibility, scroll down on the right and under interaction, select speech. Now you should have this option already um, and what we're going to do is you, you switch that to on and I've already installed this so I won't do this for a second but basically it's going to prompt you for a download you download the language pack um, and then it's going to give you the option to go through an interactive um, uh, guide basically to, to set this up and give you some experience so I'm going to go ahead and switch mine on And as you can see at the top, it's saying I'm in sleep mode at the moment. Um, so it's not actually turned on. So to turn that on, I will need to say voice access, wake up. There you see it, it's uh, suddenly started listening to my microphone and it's given me verification instantly on the commands and the words I'm giving it. And I think that's really useful because you can interpret that or, or see how this feature is interpreting your text. Now, this is instantly uh, or initially available to the US language, so there's gonna be some incompatibilities here um, and it's not gonna be perfect. But I think there's some really useful things in here. Now, I've got a website which I'll add into the video and it gives you a, real, a selection of all the commands you can in initiate. So, uh, voice access and microphone, uh, interact with apps, interact with controls and overlays, etc. So take a look at that, that's quite useful. And if you want to look at some of the settings on the right hand side, you click the, the settings icon, you'll get details um, such as you can select your microphone and switch them. I'm on a headset, but I might want to do it on, uh, on the desktop video or a microphone. So you can do that instantly there. Um, so what we're going to do is, oh, despite the fact that, that that website I'll make available, you can also give a command where you can say, what can I say? And there you see a selection of the options currently available. Now, no doubt this is going to be expanded on and you'll have additional capability. But I think it's a really good start for opening up what you can do with the desktop as opposed to just, you know, um, adding text into a document. So let's give a few of these commands a go and see how we get on. Open Word. Double click. Snap Word to left. Minimize Word. So other things we can do here are search on Bing from Microsoft. Search on YouTube from Microsoft. Search on Google from, from Microsoft. So there you have it, we've used just a few commands there and we search across different websites there which are I think is fantastic actually um, will it replace what you do on a day-to-day -day basis probably not but I think it's it's starting to get there and really this is really good stuff um, I can now minimize edge open notepad Dictation mode. Type 
Thank you for joining this video. It's been really useful. I hope you really enjoy what you've seen here and give it a go for yourself. Full stop. Next line. Please let me know what you think of this new functionality and provide feedback. And obviously subscribe to the channel for more videos coming. Full stop, next line. Close notepad. Default mode. Close notepad. Double click. Uh, I haven't quite learned how to do this bit yet, so um, it just takes some getting used to, uh, which I'm sure uh, you can imagine. Before we finish up, let's just try one or two more commands. So let's uh, open Excel. Go to desktop. Restore Excel. Open Excel. Double click. Scroll down. Scroll up. Close Excel. Open Word. Maximize Word. Move mouse left. Stop scrolling. Move mouse up. Stop mouse. Double click. Select all. Copy that. Open notepad. Paste. So hopefully you found that as fantastic as me and as Dean said in the first video, that's awesome. I think there's plenty more to come, but those upgrades, those improvements that have been implemented are really good. And I think I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do next. And I hope you are too. Thanks very much for now. Please subscribe and we'll see you again soon.